Hi. Hi. So, you know what we are doing today, right? No. We are at uh, Unity Lifeline Hospital, which is a very well reputed hospital. It's been here for over 15 years. Covid time, it supported a lot of patients in this area, in the outer ring road area of Bangalore. It's a very busy hospital in a very, very busy city. And uh, let's see if we can find a little bit of time with the nurse here and try to find out what life is like. Chalo. Chalo, let's go. So today we are with somebody who is the first person who touched all of us in life and that is a, a nurse. So we are with M Mrs. Lata who is a nurse here at Unity Life Hospital and today let's find out more about what it's like to be a nurse and what life is like for a nurse in India. And yes, thank you ma'am. Thank you for joining us. My name is Lata Vijay. I am working in this hospital the last 15 years. Uh, my, my native in Kerala. I am settled here in the last 22 years. 15 years you said as nurse, right? Yes. yes. Okay. How many hours a day? In, in, in 8 hours in hospital. 8 hours in the hospital. Mm -hmm. But when you go back home, you must be very tired. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell me, early years nursing, first 2-3 years, uh, like what, how was it difficult? Like as a young nurse, yes. what are first, the difficult? Just studying, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, study other uh, start Madaga, Namke Adri Dubage, Gotagote. Study starting time and Namke only teaching us day. Mm -hmm. uh, practical in Irala. Hosp in hospital side, we are taking practice in hospital. Any patient, somebody with whom you had bigger connection, if I'd love to hear some more. Connection, uh, yeah. Oh, on Sari Bando Giravro, next time Bando Agarka, the Kushi and the Irta Ravro, Chanagirtare, hair Chanagirte, Angela Hilter. Patients are very good. They are very Patients are very good. All types of patients are very good. How was COVID time experience? Sudden pressure increase, timings increase. So, like some, some story from COVID time, if you could tell. Uh, COVID time, little patients are just the time. Saka Terlila Vaga. Patients mm -hmm. are very good. They are very good. At home, are you more careful with your, like, your own medication? Do you check your BP of no. your sugar? No. No. <laughs> Why? But if you are telling your patient, then you should also. But now, patient is expired. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not But we are not going to follow it. What about your children? Explain what I am doing. I am doing it. I School correct time, Mandro no hygienic maintain Madaveko. Hagala explain Martha. If you could talk to your young self when you were young, what if you could give some advice, what would you tell them? Uh, means patience are irrebeko, patient, Kushia irrebeko. Kelsa then responsibility irrebeko. Work in a responsibility irrebeko. Ega on patient staff, doctor medicine baradi hogi the runo now two times cross check mad condo patient at a hogbeko. Nam side in the mistake ag baradunda nam yavaglunu irbeko. With mistakes also, I'm sure they happen in, yeah, in, yeah, life, yeah. in life and what like. Don't re repeat it. Don't repeat it. Okay. Careful okay. irbeko. Okay. Where did you learn this lesson from of not to repeat your mistake? When did you? In starting time. Our time nil now kalthiridu. Mistake ag runo solpa check mad condo, nod condo. Once a year, two times check mark, cross check mark, medicines are patient side work are done. That is all. Now, I am learning in Kerala. Kerala, oh, okay. Yes, so I have seen in a lot of movies and all the in charge they always show the yeah. head nurse, the matron as yeah. somebody who is very strong. Is that true? Is that yeah, how they are? True. <laughs> <laughs> but why? Why are they like that? Means our group work pressure is there. Yes, so when control mad ko na auru hope ko. Iga am nam control na lauri nam namne control mada kauri is there. Allah, abaga nam side na ne mistake ag bar do na auru ko is there. Aga auru sulpa strong agle be ko. Okay, and so like now, are you like that with your juniors also? Yeah. Are you? <laughs> strong illa auru na sulpa control it kar. <laughs> yes, because it's like it's very difficult time. Like at one moment you have to be strong with with other nurse, but with patient you have to be like soft. So soft. soft. So that change yeah. that mindset must be very no, difficult. Now we cope with it. Now patient that's a torsa kaagala sir. Now is the pleasant pleasant day giri beko. Asli pleasant day giri beko. Andre ne aur usal pa samadhan aaga do. Aur usumba naratta bandhir tarre. Usumba bejar ne lo idhar tarre. 
ನಾವು ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಡಿಸೀಸು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಆಗುತ್ತದೆ ಅವರು ಮೈಂಡು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕಾಮ ಆಗುತ್ತದೆ like relatives patients relatives how do you deal with them they put a lot of pressure we know that Hella, we relatives tumbano avaru sölpa struggle maadta irtare avaru ko tension irutte patient melene yak anga aitu yak kammi aagta illa andadu question avaru ko irutade patient ginna tension attendance ge irutade na avarna ella kaamagi maatadiskondu aa tara alla settle agutade sölpa time tagolutade anda maatadiskondu neatage avarge explain maadidre avaru ko sölpa soft aagtare if you could if you have to send one message to everybody about how they should interact with nurses or what as a nurse and as a representative of nurse what is it that other people outside of medical world should know about nurse any advice any message as a nurse i am telling uh, this is a service otherwise uh, financially kind of service mind irbeku namage service mind idre namage adu madakagadu okay thank you so much and you are doing like an amazing work and we are all very very happy and grateful that we are our, our health is in the hands of such responsible caring people and today we are very happy and thank you so much for like doing this thank you sir <laughs> like it's just so much perspective you get of like as a patient when we only talk to uh, interact with medical staff when we are patients and at that time our mindset is different but me right now as somebody who's not fortunately suffering from anything i realize that there's so much to learn and there's just so much wisdom that you can get so i would encourage everybody to talk to like medical staff around them get and understand how difficult their job is and how much responsibility they have so that we can provide the dignity and recognition that they deserve